talking behind our backs, eh? But yeah, with the um, the chair archway fucking jump scare, if for whatever reason... Yeah, that guy fucking disrupted me then, the painting. If for whatever reason you didn't see that coming or weren't prepared for it, that's that's kind of like our PT as well, isn't it? Where it's just right in your face and shit out of nowhere. But it wasn't out of nowhere. You could see it wanted to do something to you there. Unlike when you just fucking crack open a door a little bit and there's a fucking wibbler there. Wibbling and a wobbling all over the fucking place. Who drew on the fucking chair? Crayon as well, I mean, at least make them, you know, you can wash shit out nowadays with crayons and shit. Bad kid, or bad bear, whoever did that. I blame the kid. Man, like... Is it me, or is there far more books there than could have ever possibly have been in that bookshelf originally? Like... The bookcase is so fucking scared, it's actually vomited more books up. Now, I realise it doesn't actually work like that, but bear in mind a lot of things in this game don't work like that, so, you know. This kid. Yeah, another really scared bookcase there. This kid has done a fucking number. Man, the... the the thickness of the- I mean, I know he's trying to, like, portray what's going off here, but the thickness of some of these crayons is amazing. Like, this kid got, like, four yellow crayons together at once and fucking scribble on the wall. Bad kid. Hey, up. Oh, of course it has to be a little fucking doll. That was cool, man. Some really fucking nice, not just style and shit and technique, but nice understanding of some horror elements and shit. Nice effects. You know, the floating shit when the piano going off and like that chair fucking room from a bit ago and stuff. You can actually interact with the fucking crowns whilst on the flying. Yeah, very, very competent with both the horror and the application within the game engine and shit. Very, very good. I swear down. Every fucking door. Uh, wait a minute. You need to get out of here, bear. I was thinking, does it want me to go back on myself? Almost. All most. I bet this game would be fucking sweet in VR. That weird 3D effect then just made me think of it. Oh, now it opens. I guess you didn't have to go back on yourself. No, okay. It's right back at the beginning of the game. But the paintings, and you know, being so close up to the doors when you open them, and some of the effects and shit. I bet this would be very, very good. I wonder if there is a VR. I mean, the wiki didn't say there was a VR version or anything else, but I am. Um, I wonder if there is. And if there isn't, developers need to get on that. I mean, games like this are perfect for VR at the moment, at least. When did that happen? Oh god, it did something. It knows my weakness. It does. Oh. Oh, it seems alright. For the moment. <sighs> you what? 
No. Oh. Where did it go? Even the painting's fucking terrified. What the fuck? Look at him go. Oh, it's not just dolls. It's wobbling dolls and they're speaking now. I ain't scared of fucking- I mean, they're running at me. I ain't fucking- come at me, bro. I ain't fucking scared of fucking babies fucking running at me. I'll take them down. All of them. Don't matter how many there is. But when they start fucking making noise. No, none of that. Little house in a fucking snow globe kind of thing. Fucking knows my weakness though, doesn't it? What is this? Oh, I don't like being that close to glass. Hmm. Oh, is that right? Oh, <laughs> okay. Am I on the other side of it now? I don't fucking know. Oh, it fucking knows my weakness. Freaky fucking kids. Doing freaky fucking shit. Or... Things imitating freaky fucking kids. Doing freaky fucking shit. Anything else is fair game. I don't care how many circles deep in hell you go. It's alright. Not freaky fucking kids. Doing freaky fucking shit. I swear down. All they have to do is... All they have to do is start fucking singing. That's all they gotta do. I mean, I've started wobbling. I, I don't, I, I'm having a drink. I've started fucking wobbling. It's only a matter of time until they start, start fucking singing. That's not that far off! You're all so Fucking weird. You're small, and you're not as innocent as you pretend to be, and I'm on to you all. It moves so quick. Look at that. It did. It, it moves so fucking fast. Oh no. Look at that fucking. I'm sure I fought you last week. Don't be fucking mad. <laughs> nice. That's evened up the score, is that? I'm not going to fucking baby hell over there. Now, which way? Oh my god. Oh, I could watch that all day. Especially the, the, the sound of it. <laughs> very, very good. Oh god. Could you imagine if its eyes just fucking flipped and looked right at you suddenly? Oh god, I don't wanna... Oh, I'm gonna try down here, man. I know it's a dead end, but... What the fuck? You don't wanna... Is that... Did that just move? You just don't wanna be in a tight space. Oh, you think it's so fucking clever, don't you, game? Doing shit like this. Channeling fucking Stanley Parable. Stanley's Parable. Fucking whatever. The Stanley Parable. There we go. We got it. What's that? And do I wish to be zoomed in while moving forward? I don't think I do. What the 
the fuck? Why is there a carousel there? Why is it going backwards? Why is it so fucking pink? Oh god. <laughs> this fucking bit of the game, man. So weird and so good. But unfortunately, it's so baby at the same time. Too much fucking baby. Oh, it's powering up, man. <laughs> that wasn't me zooming in, by the way. It made you do that. Fucking hell. It knows my weakness. And it fucking used it to full effect. God damn. Freaky fucking baby, but it was really well done. Really well done, though. Oh, we're still not out of baby town yet. There you go, it's Melon. Yeah, baby, go for it! Damn, I bet that baby could fucking animate. Look at it go. What the fuck? There is something here. I mean, what was it drawing? Is this fucker here? Shut up, trees! Don't need your shit! Yeah, I might leave that door alone, you know. I'll try this one. Nah, nah. Oh, it's locked, okay. What's it saying here? Almost like there was a way though. Hey, not going back. Oh, still not out of baby town. There's still fucking kids markings and shit. What cabinet? Why is it suddenly all nice and bright and there's pop pictures of pops and shit again? Hmm. Yeah, there's Pops. Oh. Oh. There's a lion, and I don't know why there's a spider there, but, you know. Is that a giraffe? And is that an elephant? And a duck? Fuck ducks. And geese. But still. Is it a heart? I think that might be a horse somewhere there, or it could be the giraffe again, I'm not sure. Is that Kirby? I swear down, that's Kirby. Look at it. Tell me that's not Kirby, but a yellow version. Fucking is, you know when he's got his arms up in the air and shit like that? He's got his little Kirby eyes and his little Kirby arms and he's got his little Kirby feet there. Fuck Kirby as well, but you know, still. Look, like, this game needs to be any scarier. There's fucking Kirby in it now as well. I swear to God, that's Kirby. I can't. There we go. Something wobble. Oh man, I want this. Cool cat toy. Jealous. Ah, oh, that's one sad loss. Oh, the, the train drawer again. Oh, I swapped around. Oh, you're so fucking weird. Freaking motherfuckers. 
Oh. Okay. Fucking racks to me presents in it. Oh wait a minute. Get the light off. Oh. Uh. Pop goes Liam's pants. Well, I've rounded it up fuller. Hmm. What if I'm missing something in here, like a... You think you'd almost have to turn the lights off. I know maybe this goes into some fucking... Light of the possessed. Locked. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to find a key or something here somewhere. But check the drawers. Oh, wait a minute, no, wasn't there a... Here we go, yeah, I thought I saw that. I thought it was just part of, you know, like a wind-up train or something. Why, why do I have to spin round it? <laughs> this game is fantastic. Well, Liam's pants didn't go pop quite yet, but there's still time. God, the fucking baby's riding the fucking horse now. Windows pissed. House is shitting itself. Wobbling baby. Gone from the horse now. Is that what that banging is? Push, little baby, the night is star or something? God damn. Stars fade above you, the room goes dark. Oh my, that looks actually kind of awesome. Mama used to come and tuck you in. <laughs> now she's nowhere to be seen. The hands and stuff in the middle of it all. Man. This game has got horror technique. Four days. Very, very nice. Fucking eyes and shit there as well. You know, definitely seen some elements here and there, like, you know, that it, it, it's borrowed from here and there and over there and, you know, but still. Just nice in the delivery, and so far I've been paced really well, and just very, very competent in what it's doing, you know? It's not being cheap about anything, it's not trying to make me, like, just load up my pants and change, and load up and change, or all like that, you know? It's going for an atmosphere, and a vibe, and... It doesn't need to make you absolutely fill them. It tries here and there and stuff like that, but it, like I said, it's not this relentless barrage. And what it is doing with certain horror techniques, I, I think it's really nice. Some stuff more original than other elements to it, but still, as I was saying, very, very competent. Unlike me trying to open this fucking door. What's it want me to do now? Use this thing again? Nope. The eyes. They bleed. Fluffy fakers. Mocking me. Lying still between toys. No toys allowed. So he's been so paranoid that the, the um, 
the mice and shit are uh, pretending to be toys sometimes that he didn't want any toys so the cat fucking hide in between them. Oh, there we go. This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. A human hairbrush. Didn't even think of that. So he used his own kid's hair. Jesus. I'm really surprised that didn't make me shit myself right there and then. <laughs> Man. I remember in fucking HTC Slack Nilla 3, a big old fucking head in my face. Made me crap them. Oh, wait a minute. Was it me that crapped them or was it Claire that crapped them and then that made me crap them? Almost. But, you know, I am surprised because after that bit and getting the brush, I mean, generally after you get the item, it settles down until you set it back into the painting and, you know, the cupboard of troubles, let's call it. So, I was off guard there. I'm surprised that didn't make me jump. Well played. It tried to, anyway. It tried to. GG. It's getting rather fucked in here. Gone. Oh, yeah, he's um, gone beyond the point of no return now. Get this shit. What the fuck? I think I- did I check these drawers out like, first time I came in here? I mean, it doesn't mean that nothing's changed. I mean, I like this room as well. It's almost like... I can say there's, there's definitely- it's got some ideas and some elements for Sony. It's got some ideas and elements that it's borrowed from stuff like PT and Silent Hill and etc. This area almost reminds me of Silent Hill 4. Like, the, the room sort of shit. Especially if it starts to go fucked up, like, it's getting more and more fucked up. Like, some weird shit starts happening. But you always keep rebounding back to here. It's like the anchor point of the game. It's definitely giving me that vibe now. What we got now? Oh. Definitely become proper humanoid there. That looks wicked. Holy fucking shit. I mean, again, I don't mean to sound really fucked in the head or all like that. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> You're like, Liam, what the fuck's wrong with you? It doesn't look good at all. It, it does. Just in a really fucked up way. What? <laughs> Four out of six. Has this trunk always been here? Yeah, I don't even, I'm not even bothered. <laughs> no, I'll open it. It's, it's a trunk full of fucking baby mannequins. Fuck no. I'm gonna open the cupboard fuller, so we can see what we've got. There we go. Seems to take the, the door off the cupboard. Like the cubby sort of thing. When you next come back. Very, very good. Right. I mean, it's played its card. It played the baby card, and it kind of worked. What can it have now? Oh, it's, it's loving this shit now, isn't it? Fuck you, I'm going back on myself. Something is behind me. There you go. That's locked. I love how it just flipped around then, like, even though I said there was something behind me. Ah. A grand fishing day. Something is here, though. The darkness is upon me, so... You are. It's 
to the right. Not kids again. Look at this shit. Apparently I'm going in circles, but you know, that, that's not new to me. Of course there's nothing there. Why would there be? Is that right? Locked. Hmm. While the player is trying to open doors, let's throw something at them. Easy for to, to forget, delirious drunk. Go for a clock. You sound like you're indicating to turn right though. Oh, or left. A direction. Nice gears. You are naked though, clock. setting up in it. On to its fucking shenanigans, man. Back out of the way, Kimmin. Oh, it loves it, doesn't it? It fucking loves it. Loves messing around with your sense of direction. What the game doesn't realise is I don't have any sense of direction, so going back on myself is perfectly fucking fine. It's like, if we mess around with a sense of direction, it'll disorientate them. Not fucking me, it won't. I'm disorientated normally. Fucking about with sense of direction just kind of, like, reverses it, so I'm completely orientated now. That will not work on me. Why does it have to open that? It should be opening inwards into the room. It's just trying to be a dick. Okay, I can push him out of the way. Make up your mind. Hey, where did that come from? June 17th. It's on about the damn rats again. I don't think I've ever seen one, but that doesn't stop him from laying out traps all over the place. He claims he can hear them in the walls and that there must be hundreds of them. God, I fucking hope it's true. I hope they crawl out at night and eat you in your sleep, you cruel, self-obsessed, pathetic drunk. Wow. This relationship has gone downhill. As evidenced by the sheer fucking possession level of the fucking place. There are some mad spirits at work. Why was that door weird then? Hmm. I'm seeing that wobbly woman fucking everywhere, man. Is that the wife? God, look at her wobble. I mean, it's such a fierce wobble, she's stepping left and right just to fucking counteract it. We're going zoomed in, lads. Maybe not now. No, go on, fuck it. You ready? Because we're zoomed in. It's going to be right in his fucking face. Told you. They're pretty generous when it comes to that. You could see it coming. And I don't hold that against the game. You know, it's not like, well, that were a bit fucking naff, wasn't it? Because you could see it were going to happen. It's like, yeah, no, I, I consider it like, you know, it, it's trying to be a bit weird and a bit scarier in there and wants to do effects like that, but doesn't want to jump scare you really hard. Not really. You know, it, it wants to... Imp like, there's nothing wrong inherently with jump scares. It's when a game overly relies on them or there's no build up to it. You know, it's just, you know, here's a bag of bricks to the face. Enjoy. Boom. You're, you're a fucking human. You're not a machine. You're going to fucking jump. And then, oh, by the way, here's another one. Or here's a loud scream in your headset or stuff like that. Not cool. 
really not cool and not very clever in the slightest. If there's a build-up, if there's a bit of tension, and then it does something like that, it's not that bad. Certainly, like, a soft jump scare. Kind of like that, where you can see something might launch at you. So, be prepared. Isn't a bad thing. I don't hold that against the game in the slightest. It's actually... Kind of, like, nice of the developer, but also... It's not relying on that. I mean, there's plenty of atmosphere and plenty of tension in this game. Plenty of, um... Like, scary atmosphere and shit like that. There's no need to launch in your face like that. But it's still an element of horror. Always has been, and it always will be. So, you know, they're still going to employ it. But it's done in a soft kind of application, rather than, you know, the bag of bricks to the fucking face. Which, like I say, I don't hold against the game. I actually fucking appreciate it. You know... A soft jump scare in there, absolutely fine. Shit, you, you can throw a hard jump scare in there as long as there's been a bit of a build-up. You know, as long as there's been a reason for it, and it's as long as it doesn't uh, even forget that. As long as it, the, the game doesn't rely on jump scares, that's a better way to condense it down. As long as a game doesn't rely 100% purely on jump scares, I have no problem with the technique, especially when it's handled. Did that pile just wobble? Especially when. It, it did. But you know, when it's handled correctly, and with a sense of direction, it's fine. It's when they, uh, just certain games just 100% rely on it. That's not my favourite, to be honest. Oh, it's Roland in there! <laughs> Ooh, and he led me to a key as well. I like Roland. I mean, it, Roland was a rat, and uh, that might be a mouse, but you know, still. He's called Roland. I could have called him Danger as well, but never mind. Yeah. The two most famous mice to me. You could say Mickey as well, but nah. To me, being a fucking Brit and shit like that, most famous mouse, um, Danger. You know, Danger Mouse. And most famous rat, Roland. That's a bit more of an obscure one. You might have to be in your fucking 30s or something like that or older to remember Roland Rat and Mornings and shit. Good stuff. E. He is cute as fuck. Uh, as I said right beginning of the game, I had a feeling he might be my only friend and he fucking is. Adorable. Might not want to go around corners zoomed in. Why is it me <laughs> You see, the game is quite capable of me getting up to this box and putting- Even though I looked pretty much sore around it, nothing stopping it putting something behind here. Kinda. Fucking tried. It's getting you to look down at him as well. So you've got to be fucking careful of. Because the developer clearly has an understanding of where the player's going to be looking, what they're going to be doing, and playing around that. So I don't trust their fucking visual cues in the slightest. Why well, he erupted from the grounded Roland. Where? I thought you had Roland from behind me then. God. You see, they could really put a hard jump in here. Ooh, that is generous. What you got, Roland? Oh, you, you've got, you got like a little fucking player here, dude. Lucky! He's actually really comfortable with me now, isn't he? Dog, cat, rat. What, corresponding to the numbers? Let me write this shit down. Dog. Then cat. Then rat. And dog has... 
four and seven, cat as two and six, and the rat as a nine. Okay, okay. Did write that down right. Four and seven, yeah. Hmm. A dead end after looking at something and letting your guard down. I'm sorry, I, I'm, 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 I'm dissecting the technique, I'm sorry. You know me, I fucking love my horror and shit like that, both movies and games and stuff, so... It did change though, I think. I don't think that door was there. Like I said, I, I like to dissect the technique and see, you know, like... At least in my opinion, I don't pretend to be some fucking... Horror industry guru or anything like that, you know, tell you the first jump scare was employed in X movie and fucking Y year and stuff like that by fucking Z director and etc and stuff like that. But you know, been around the block a bit when it comes to horror movies and games, so I like to say I like to dissect the technique and see if it surprises me. Well, I got loads of different fucking numbers there. I had f four and seven for dog. Two and six for cat, and nine for rat. Let's try the first numbers of each. Four. Two. Nine. No, clearly not right. But it's only a nine digit thing. So what's it want in here? Can't be adding them together because that'd be eleven for dog. Could be eight for cat. So what's it want in here? 349? No, that's not right neither. Let me just have a look at this again. Oh, wait. I mean, I wonder what other shit was in the middle, but I didn't really look at it, I just looked at dog and the numbers, cat and the numbers, and rat and the number. Does it want it? No, wait. Maybe the strands lead to different colours. You see, that led to a fucking two. Let's follow this one here. That led to a two as well. What the fuck? Let's try this other one. And that led to a fucking nine. That's not right. Well, no, no, okay. Wait, wait, wait what? What? I was thinking for a sec, like, you know, the colour of that maybe has to be... Wait, maybe start with... I don't know, start with a cat. So... God, it's hard to follow the fucking crayon marks. Is that right? No, that goes to a four. Try a second strand. Wait, I've just ended up at the same fucking thing again. What the fuck? I can't even... I can't even tell... Try this one. That goes round there. Then goes round there. And then goes to a one. Fuck, I'm gonna start with a rat. What the fuck? No, 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 no. What, what, what's going on? No, what, 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 what? Maybe follow the number first. No, you see that go... The cat one goes wrong, right. And that goes up there. Yeah, what? You see, I thought it'd be in the order of... You know, either that, that and that, or that, that and that. And maybe the colour of the um, the animal text would lead up, to, and if it led up to the right number, like the same colour number, that's bit that'd be the right number. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, what happens with the rat ones? See, that rat goes to a six, and that goes to an eight, and that goes to a seven. What's the four one lead to? What the fuck? What's it want in here exactly? It's a three digit number. Like, what information? We've got the numbers. It's a three digit padlock. We've got names of three animals and the colours on the writing. And then the fucking lines and then the numbers with certain colours. You'd think. You'd, you'd somehow correspond, like, say, the blue of the dog with the the blue fucking numbers, but then again, that I don't think that makes much sense either, because there's, like, two blue numbers. But, you know, if it actually went to one of the two, like the four or the seven, maybe the dog's fucking number was the four or the seven, whichever one it went to, but that doesn't seem to be the case. 
Uh, the cat one, the first one goes to a free. And then a four. And then a one. Three, four, and one, and neither of these are black. So what's it, what? Or is it just saying... The dog? Because there's a, there's a picture there as well, I don't know, like... Two? I mean, they did have a dog as well, didn't they? Not a cat, and uh, not a pet rat or all like that. So maybe it's just, it wants the dog ones. Five. Nine. Two, five, nine. Let's try that. That kind of, that, I mean, I don't know if that's right, but that kind of makes sense. Seems like they had like a family dog and shit like that. Two, four. Yes, okay. God, I almost fucking missed that. Like I said, I'm just trying to like figure out like what like what information you got. You got like say you got the numbers and the colours, you got the fucking lines and the fucking colours of you know the three different animals, and it's obviously a three-digit number. This though quite clear and different from the rest, you could fucking use a missive site. Then it was like, wait a minute, how come there's only one animal listed? And it's like, wait a minute, they had a family dog, didn't they? Do was saying that, oh I know that you wanted a cat, but I bought us a dog and shit like that. So, yeah, trace the lines of the three things there. Cheeky little puzzle there. Cheeky. You are. Oh, yeah, got to slide the bolt. But, yeah, cheeky. Lots of, like, misinformation on it and, like... You've, you've, I mean, like I said, there's a, picture, there's a picture of a dog. I think it'd have been a little bit meaner if you'd had to remember that they got a dog, so it's probably the dog, not the cat or the rat. But with a picture of the dog there, only having a picture of a dog. Even if you'd forgotten that they had a family dog, I guess it, that would still, it, like I say, kind of nice on you. It, it'd still lead you to that. Looks safe enough in here to me. You what? Despite what they say, you do not want to go towards the light. That's a bad idea. Don't go towards it, Roland. Hey, yo, where did all that shit come from? Fuck, fuck, there was a queue. I'm going this way. Fuck the light. Yeah, Roland knows. Oh, fucking hell, Roland. Where are you taking me? But he can speak now. No. Was that actually serious, by the way, saying I bet he could speak? You know, there's, there's been weirder shit in the game than um, a rat speaking. Or a mouse, or whatever he is. Can I help? Is that a shadow cast in that? Or is it actually on the wall? I think that's a shadow in it. Yeah, what the fuck? Clever. Yeah, very cool. Did give you a break for a while. You know, while figuring out that puzzle and following rolling around, it did give you a break. Floor creepers! Traps in the floor, devouring my foot. He's afraid to walk now. Did you hear that shit? Where's that? Is that me walking across the floor or what? Is 
Sind es. Wow! How very welcoming. No, fuck it, Karen, going forward. Don't mind me, just spinning your globe. Alright, clock. That's fucking doors, man. And this is this is what I was saying, that's the best and most effective element of psychological horror. Getting the player slash viewer to conjure up their own bullshit. It's got me doing it on every fucking door now. Every door since the fucking wobbler in front of it. And as soon as I let my guard down, it's gonna do it again. As soon as I just start flinging those fucking doors open, there's gonna be one there. You mind my fucking words? Wow, he got a, a large version. It did a slight jud then, as if it was loading its shenanigans. I saw that. Very rare to see, but I saw it. Hey, sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I've got to tell you, your last letter was troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The lady in black especially. That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help, pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the bio was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. And then he wrote, I don't. Maybe that's, maybe that's why he resorted to this like human kind of painting and shit because she, well, dog muzzle. She burnt all his fucking paintings or whatever. I mean, I'm not saying she did that unprovoked. <laughs> Clearly not. Fucking mutt won't shut up. Hey. I can do that too. Bok, bok, bok. But can you paint? No? Well, that's all right. Neither can I, apparently. Yeah. It's definitely taking a darker turn. It's not all the happy memories from like the first hour and a half or something like that. Something is over there. Wow. Shit, I'm surrounded by him. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, when does that open up? <laughs> it's so fucking freaky it causes him to pass out sometimes, I think. When he wakes up, it could have teleported him anywhere. Be right back one second. Right, there we go. He says. Check out this trunk first. The muzzle again. Hmm. It's weird how it let me check that out again. It didn't do... I don't think it's ever let me check an item for a second time like that. Yeah, the last letter as well. I mean, I guess, oh, it's, I guess it's showing the same room, but the unfucked version. Ooh. Oh, Roland. Oh, he's got buddy.
Wait a minute. Oh, no, that was there before. That's okay. I don't want to read a book right now, but thank you for the offer. Is it all worth it? God, it's throwing fucking everything at you now. The actual fuck is that? It moves, so I'm gonna get a closer look at that. Make sure nothing's gonna gank me. Okay. Man, that is quite the effect that's enveloping that painting. Doesn't seem pleased about it. Man, I swear down, like, do like a, a melting kind of effect that looks straight out of Doom. And this fucking background shit here. This um, greyish, brownish kind of effect. I swear down, I've seen that fucking texture in Doom and stuff as well, man. That, straight out. Straight out of it. Hey there, princess. What? Oh, <laughs> this is daddy's medicine. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. No, don't touch that! Oh god. I'm so... Wait, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Well, I was getting fucking drunk a lot. You are. What did I pick up then? Like a... Was it a drill? That seems an... Awfully large set piece just to be like that, but... Maybe? Does it want me to fucking drill it? No, okay. Cause I'd do it. Ruler, no! Jesus fucking wet. Cashy motherfucking masher. Don't give me that innocent fucking look. You knocked that fucking bottle off. She knocked a fucking plastic bottle off of Claire's desk in the background, man. Shit myself. What's wrong with you? Fucking hell. Put it back one set, let me just make sure that's all alright. Alright, oh, there we go, yeah, it's fucking all fine and shit like that. Cash you the little swine. She's been the one casting all the fucking shadows in the corner of my fucking eye all night. Just... I don't know, you know what cards are like, you know, someone on a desk, let me just... There we go, let me just adjust this desk for you and knock this thing fucking flying off. Don't look back. It's not as scary as what Kashi just did to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Now, they are quite generous when it comes to something getting up in your face. They announce it pretty much. There's a visual cue of some sorts to let you get ready. They are pretty good for that. Very good for that, in fact. Because I still get to employ that technique without it being unfair, let's say, in a way. To your poor fucking heart. Cashier, however, does not give a fuck. Cats have no understanding of correct jump scare usage. You've been overusing it. She's not paying attention to me now. They always do that. They pay attention to me. It's like, yeah, I'm talking to you right now. I'll look away while I continue to talk and I'll look back. They're fucked off. Oh, they're just washing or something like that and just completely not paying attention? Oh, they are. They reckon they're not, but they are. I think I don't know, but I do. Yeah, cause in there don't seem weird, without noise and shit coming there. A little pain goes a long way. Oh good. Cashy Mash has left the room. Might be able to keep my pants intact now. Nah. 
That's not my fault. D it, it, it's making me. That's not my fault. Don't be mad at me for that. It's okay. Or is it? It's Roland, for fuck's sake. I guess it won't Roland then. It must have been his friend. I'm glad Roland's alright. Sucks about his friend, like, but. That's a first class stamp right there. Can't use the letter or anything, though. No. Roland seemed to be avoiding that room. What shenanigans do you have in store? Hmm. Now I see, I'm not quite buying this right now. <laughs> Very nice effect. Shit, I made it worse. Was that door always there? Oh, god damn! I didn't even get a chance to finish my fucking sentence! <laughs> I was about to say, oh god damn, because it was so fucking dark in there. I mean, I, I did say that still, but you know, you, you may have noticed a slight. A slight difference in tone than what I was going for originally. <laughs> What's this now? Oh yeah, close the gate. I wish I get that. You gotta close the gate first, otherwise the elevator doesn't work. Up or down? We're going up. I wonder what his next piece of the painting is gonna be. Like, say he's had blood, flesh, bone, and human hair. Apparently there's two other fucking things. Wait, how fast is this fucking elevator going up? Oh. Something is here. There she is. It's gonna just be in here, innit? What's that thing above me? Oh, apparently it's a hatch. Fucking try. That was. <laughs> the cues are really good, the visual cues and shit. It's like, what's that thing just dangling in front of my face? Well, to the side a little bit, but still. The classic elevator drop as well. Locked. And that one. But I guess this one's probably alright. Wait! Okay. Man, it's fucking around we are now, innit? It's fucking about weird. It's got to that point in the game where the fucking gloves are off. It's sending shit into your face. Does not fucking care. You what? Know 
as I was saying, the visual cues, man. It's like, wait, I just did the little chair. I just did the fucking wheelchair. It's like, there's no other chairs appearing now. It's like, well, anything on the ground? No, it's like, well, try fucking looking up. Yeah, you are in the fucking center of the nightmare. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Horde ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Straight up, mad as fuck. But did he like messing with his clock? Hmm. That brush gets around. Brush are damned. Never trust the doors when they open fuck it. I mean, it's fair enough it's opening like into the room. So that was gonna open into me first, but still. What is that? Is that a baby again? I don't even know what that is. Is it a heart? Is that gonna heal me? Because it, it probably shouldn't. What is it? It's got like a little. It's got like a little hand and shit. I don't. I don't I really don't fucking know. That is a question mark. Some kind of little fucking humanoid that looks like a heart. Back to Zelda. Hey, oh. I don't trust... Yeah, exactly. Fucking hell. Yeah. When it comes to her, it does like that grab effect. But it always gives you a warning. I'd say nice and actually appreciated. Oh, I actually quite liked it all black and white then. It looked cool as fuck. This guy! Fucking baby Ed. Baron Babyhead. Well, cigars and pipes and fucking booze. Baby fit what? Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction affectionados. In reality, it looks like the result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous... Uh, the rest of it's cut off. I told you we're fucking babyface. 